ridiculous. Damn, mosquitoes, bro. In the past, I felt like I was a lot more, I wanna say stressed out during this, this birthday planning, but it was just, it was just a lot. It was kind of too much because Charlotte would be at her mom's house getting stuff ready and I would be at home getting the girls ready and I was constantly driving back and forth to do stuff. Whereas now, we could just do everything at our house now. And it's way easier. That's definitely a plus for me and having a home with a backyard because I ain't gotta be freaking ripping and running every freaking where and getting yelled at by Charlotte and her mom and her aunt and stuff are arguing with each other all the time. I mean, they might still be arguing with each other right now, but I ain't about to get in that business, you know what I'm saying? I'm about to mind my own business and do my own thing over here, you know what I'm saying? But now, the kids are fed, where they're eating right now. Charlotte's in there decorating the cake. I'm getting these drinks together. Um, so now I'm pretty much about to be just doing whatever the heck I'm told to do. This is one of the best drinks in the nation right here. Spindrift, hit us up. Oops. So are you painting cakes every year? It's like a theme now, but it seems like something you're always doing. No, I'm just, it's cheaper to buy this cake and we love this cake. Oh, it's cheaper to buy this cake and then decorate it rather than getting something made that we don't like? Yes. Hey, Luca, what's today? My birthday party. How are you feeling about it? Good. Good. Okay. How are you feeling? Tired. Good. Yeah. Good. Good. Tired. How are you feeling? Good. Why did you do that? There's a bunch of craziness going on right now. Charlotte's down there getting all the stuff ready. Oh, I want to talk about a little adversity that happened. <laughs> Last night, I was sanding the uh, the boards because Charlotte wanted me to sand them so she can repaint them. And when I picked one of them up, it broke. How did that happen? I just picked it up. How did you pick it up? I picked them up like this to fold them and then just broke. We had made those boards a few years ago but now they sell something similar at Menards and she bought one last night and painted that and is using it for now. But the only thing about the one from Menards is it's super thin, whereas the one that we made, they're really thick and dense and it's easy for them to sit up. So maybe I'll make her another one before Maddie's birthday party next month. But yeah, there's a bunch we gotta do today. Charlotte made a list of things uh, that she wants to do before uh, Everybody gets here, obviously. Uh, but yeah, let me show y'all the board that I broke. <laughs> this is it. Let me show y'all. So I was saying, so if you look at it, I was saying that I'm doing a good job doing my husband duties, you know what I'm saying? Sanding them, and then it freaking broke. This hinge right here broke it. So this one broke. Uh, and then this one broke. And then I'm gonna show you how thin the other ones are. This is how thick this one is. This is like a really thick piece of wood. So it won't really fall over. Whereas this one, is like super thin, and I don't think it'll fall over either. Uh, well, it, it, I just, well, it can fall over much more than the MDF one. How did you feel when I brought the boards in and they were broken? I was so mad. Were you actually mad? Yeah. Were you mad at me or were you just mad at the situation? A little bit of both. Hmm. All right. I only have a couple of these. It's a squid or something? No, it's like coral. It's coral? You couldn't tell? I don't think coral is red though. It's this color is literally called coral. 
There's a lot of colors called a lot of things, but they're not the actual color. Okay, so we could- Is it coral like green? No, it's coral. How are you feeling about today? Pretty good, I just hope it doesn't rain. What time is it supposed to rain? Like, maybe two. It's like 20 per 15% chance like all morning. Yeah, but the party starts at 11, then why does it matter if it rains at two? No, because it's like 15% chance all morning. And then, what do you think about this though? I think it looks good. Hi, honey. Hi, honey. Hi. Hi, Dad. How are you guys feeling about the party? Good. What are you most, Good. Ex what are you most excited about? Um, Jumping the, on the, the, the trampoline. The, the, uh, A jobby. Hmm? Trampoline. The uh, bouncy house. The bouncy house with us. Um, I'm excited about getting the tattoos. Bye, sit. Me. Sit. Me. Guess. Me kiss. Kiss. Give her a kiss. She wants a kiss. I gotta give the girls a bath, apparently. The big girls take showers now, and Quincy's the only one who takes a bath, so I gotta give them all washed up before the party. And we don't usually cook breakfast on the party days. So there's too much going on. And Charlotte's asking me to go to Starbucks to get her some coffee, and then we'll get the girls uh, breakfast from there too. But Starbucks is expensive as crap, dog. It just be adding up. We're doing. I'm doing some budgeting stuff now. Now that we moved in this house. I'm working with Elena Maisley, and she's teaching me some finance stuff and learning how to be an entrepreneur and figure out a budget and taxes and all kind of stuff. And I had to do some tracking last month of our eating out. Charlotte won't have to stop going to Starbucks, bro. Cause uh, that joint add up. Girls, come take a shower. No, you're a big one, that's it. Can I have a um, grand, grande flat white with almond milk? I just got all done setting up the bounce house and the ball pit. And now I gotta go pick up some food. Charlotte has me looking for some painter's tape. I don't know what's for. Yeah, I'm looking for it. Okay. All right, so I got all the food. And the last of everything is done, I think. I had to go get Luca a shirt from Target yesterday, and she's about to get dressed. But we always get this place. This is Yum. When Charlotte was decorating the cake earlier, it was from this place, and we team up. We always cater from this place for the girls' birthday parties. Birthday girl! Birthday girl! Put a smile on your face. There you go, buddy. There. How does it feel to be five? It feels good. Do you want to talk about what you did for your actual birthday when you were born? 
want to go show the picture? Where? It's on the refrigerator. All right, so today is Luca's birthday party, but we went to Benihana for her birthday because she went to Benihana and her birthday doesn't land on a weekend, so we took her to Benihana on the day she was born. Hey, look at me. How does it feel to be five? <laughs> One of the cons to setting up a party is I don't get to eat. What I always do. As I eat before everybody else comes. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab me a little sandwich, you know what I'm saying? So I ain't freaking crungry at the doggone party. They'll never notice, right? They, they won't notice. Um, now we gotta do is get uh, Luca dressed. Quin oh, Quin look like, look like Quincy is dressed already. That's it. And then we'll get the party started. All right, today we are celebrating Luca's fifth birthday with a celebration, a mermaid party, which we've done a mermaid party before, so it's kind of easy because we had a lot of this stuff. So come over this way. Over here, we've got our Squid Ink tattoo parlor. Get it? So little like temporary tattoos and hair clips with shells for the girls if they want. And there are like pirate tattoos too, just for, you know, however people are feeling. And then we've got our, you know, backdrop that we use for lots of different parties. This will be where we sing happy birthday. We've got the kids table set up over here. Food. And cupcakes and drinks. And then we've got our bounce house and ball pit. So that's the vibe. We're excited for Luki's birthday party. And yeah. Back to this thing. On the instructions it says it takes five minutes to completely deflate. And I'm calling a bunch of baloney because I tested this thing out with the girls the other day and it took way, way longer than that. It is 2.22 right now. And I'm gonna check in with y'all on when this thing actually deflates. <sighs> One eternity later. 3.58 dog. And it's still air in there. And some of y'all might think I'm being ridiculous, but I had to freaking do this with air in there last time and I told myself I'm not doing it again. There's still little air bubbles in there and it's cool. I'm gonna try to do it this time.
ridiculous.